Hi guys, today I'm about to watch something very interesting. It is gonna be a theme song from Pirates of Caribbean, but Indian version. I don't even know what to expect, I'm just ready to dive in. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm so ready for the jam. It must be filmed somewhere in um, Goa, maybe somewhere by the ocean or in a more southern part of India. It's a beautiful instrument, something similar to um, how to call it trampoline or something like that. Which is not a guitar, not a violin, but really big one. But it's more traditional, I can tell. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, so nice. <laughs> this is definitely Indian version. I love this kind of drums. This is so awesome. Pure enjoyment. In this musical combination, piano is the one which is outstanding because all the others they're like true, legit Indian things. While piano is more widespread. Wow, I'm so glad I found out about this uh, video. I mean, on my cell, I would never learn about its existence at all. And they're wearing these beautiful national clothes. Hand. This is so good. And the music, like the first seconds, I was just wow. I was frozen with the its beauty. This kind of drums is one of the first things that would remind me of India. Then masala chai, number two. Let the music play. Don't you stop, guys. Oh, they also filmed it in different time of the day because there was a dusk or a dawn it was the sun was almost on the horizon and now it's sunny wow so nice i'm not a huge fan of the pirates of the caribbean but i'm a huge fan of these guys now i'm pretty sure they have more stuff like that when they make a remake on famous songs i will definitely check it out and I love this concept of playing this beautiful music on a beach and somewhere a beautiful natural place. It brings even more vibe to it. 
I remember from the quarantine time in 2020, I listened to a DJ sets online or recorded. They would play somewhere outside in a beautiful place on a sunset of California, for example, or some other places in the world. It brought me hope that all this epidemic will be over and we will be able to gather soon and have a good time together. And this song right here, it brought me similar feelings that after any gloomy day, the sun will come out and whatever distress or problems you are going through, they will be over. Now I have to go Google and find out what the name of these instruments are. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the drums, the name is tabla. And this is the picture I found, how it looks like. It is most famous in North India and apparently tabla is a modern caretaker of an ancient rhythmic tradition that is perhaps 5,000 year old. It is considered to be a birthplace of civilization. Just imagine, 5,000 years ago, musicians were passing their skill from one to another. And it's just crazy to think that this tradition survived 5,000 years later, till today. I mean, what can be more impressive? And the other instrument they had seemed to be sarangi. A sarangi is a bowed stringed instrument with a skin-covered resonator. I wonder whose skin it was. It is made by hand, usually from a single block of wood. The four plain strings on the instrument are made of goat gut. And the 17 sympathetic strings are made of two. That sounds better. The sarangi is used throughout India and has some regional variations. But it is a particularly important part of Hindustani music of North India. Okay, so since it's all about northern instruments in the song, this artist must be from northern part as well. But there is a but, why they were singing by the ocean, so probably they were somewhere in the south. Then, the more I think about this song, the more questions I have. But one thing I know for sure, all the instruments, the artists, the whole idea, the concept of this song is just beautiful. Let me know in the comments how you liked this song, and tell me if there's anything similar I can listen to. That was Olgu, I hope to see you soon. Bye!